Dennis did tell me he wasn't going to share a passage, but I'd ask you to start with, so I'm glad that he did. I want all of us together to understand that we get to share in this, and that our leadership shares in this, and that I share with them uh, that responsibility, that hope, and that dream that we have uh, for what we would like to do. Personally, I don't like statistics. I don't like math. Back years ago, I was a math major, and I switched and became an art major in college. What, what a, a change in life. And then after that, I decided to be a missionary. A different change. I picked what was the most meaningful to me out of all that was going on in life. And I'm very happy for what I get to do as a preacher and as a missionary still in making trips. What we get to do at Central is because of the gifts that all of us get to give. I want to emphasize that it's an, not just an opportunity, and yes, from 1 Corinthians 16, it is a command. And it is a command that's to be done on the first day of the week, 1 Corinthians 16 tells us. And we read those a little bit earlier. But out of the commands and the doctrinal statements from God is a comment from the scriptures that we, we get to participate. And what a tremendous privilege that is that we belong to a kingdom where we get to serve God. And we get to sacrifice ourselves. And in the end, we get to go to heaven out of all of that. Luke chapter 21. <coughs> the occasion is that Jesus is about to finish out his ministry. And he's sitting in the temple. And verse 1 it says, And he looked up. And he saw the rich putting their gifts into the treasury. Their time for the offering, in other words. And he saw also a certain poor widow putting in two mites, two pennies. <coughs> and he said, Truly I say to you that this poor widow has put in more than all. For these, out of their abundance, have put in offerings for God. But she, out of her poverty, put in all the livelihood that she had. I have never given that much. But I find it interesting that out of the one-third of the teachings that are written in the New Testament about Jesus, that they relate to money. And on this occasion, Jesus stops and tells you, God watches our giving. He stood back and He observed what was being put in. He observes what we do because, not He's out checking the list off, but he wants to know how do we relate to him. Our giving reflects our relationship with God, our love for him, our hope for his kingdom. We get to share, and this widow felt like, I've got to give something. I owe something. I want to participate. It is a great privilege and a responsibility as Christians to get to do this. And God watches. Maybe nobody else should be, but God should be. And He's noticing how much you love Him. A demonstration. If you buy someone a small gift and you can afford a large one, you are demonstrating, I don't care much about you. And so... It tells God how much we truly care about Him. He observes these things, but it's also a reflection of what we get to do. We do a lot of mission trips around here, and I'm so, so excited about the things 
that we have in store for this year and the things that we've done. And the numerous people that continue to give beyond the budget, outside the budget, to make sure that we fulfill these desires. College kids are gone this weekend, and, and they are a part, but they're not the entire part of all these different trips and things that we do. And some of the older people give in a lot of different ways in helping and reaching out into the lives without crossing overseas. But our ministry is a ministry that cares. And we demonstrate how much we care by our giving. And what a blessed thing it is. Privileged this year to go on a lot of trips. I hope to fulfill my dreams in that. Hope personally to share in that, that I can get to do that. Hope personally to send other people along with it. And know, without a doubt, it makes a difference in those lands. And it makes a difference here. And we share in what we do. We pay a lot of bills and other things along the side, but that is part of life. And we get to share in that life together. You're blessed. <coughs> I'm blessed. And as we close this service out, look at your giving. And think of the year ahead. And ask yourself, am I giving like I ought to be? Am I giving to God? And does that demonstrate how much I care about Him and the work that goes on. Should I give more? And all of those things relates to who I am as a Christian. And who are you? A weak or a strong one? One that's committed or one that sits back and watches and observes? We close the lesson the invitation. Is your life right with God? Do you belong to Him? Does He belong to you? Are you a Christian? And are you living like Him? And if you're not, we certainly want to help you to get your life right today. This morning, we sing a song to encourage you. Think of the words and if you need to respond, please come down front right now as we stand and <coughs>